Okay, so today we're going to install Yoast onto our WordPress site. Um, Yoast is a really standard uh, plugin for um, being able to kind of optimize SEO stuff on websites. Um, I'd say most people, if they have a WordPress website, if they don't have Yoast, they probably should have Yoast. Um, it just gives you some kind of really easy traffic lights to kind of check your SEO um, effectiveness. But kind of better than that, it offers you uh, a really easy way to edit things like the, the URL description, uh, the meta description of your page, um, and kind of other little easy back-end SEO stuff. So um, it's super easy to install Yoast, it's just like a standard plugin. So all we need to do is go to the plugin section over here uh, and click on Add New. And I'm just going to search for plugins using the search bar. Um, and you'll notice that we've got Yoast top left here. It's got a million plus active installations. Um, and that's just a really good indicator that um, it's a quality plugin and lots of people, it's probably not um, a bad plugin. Uh, what I mean by a bad plugin is, um, you know, plugins kind of get all kind of information from your website and it kind of enables stuff to, to edit your website from the back end. So you don't necessarily want to go around just installing any old plugin. Um, you want to make sure it's from like a reputable source. So um, having a million plus active installations definitely indicates that. So all I gotta do is click the install button and once it's finished installing, I can just click the activate button like that. And, oh, I've got a new issue concerning SEO. Doesn't sound good. Um, I'll check that out in a second, I guess. Um, but anyway, now that we've installed Yoast, you'll see that down here, I've got a little section that says SEO. Uh, and it's got this one notification, which is, I guess, my SEO issue. Um, so I've got no problems. I've got this thing that doesn't like, um, okay. Whatever, that's not a real notification. Um, so yeah, what we're also doing Ghost for, as well as enabling us to kind of make small SEO changes, um, is we're gonna use it to build something called an XML sitemap. So I'll go through what an XML sitemap is with you in class. Um, but if we just click into the features bit of Yoast here, still in the general tab as you can see, uh, we've got all these things, they're all turned on, um, and that's good. And you'll notice that in the middle here, we've got XML sitemaps. And if you hover over the question mark and click it, um, we're just, by having it checked as on, we're enabling um, you have to generate XML sitemaps. And those are gonna be really useful for us because we can upload them into Google Search Console, which we're gonna learn about soon. Um, and that's gonna enable us to kind of show Google the layout of our website um, so that it's able to index stuff really easily. So I'm just going to check that um, I have an XML sitemap. Um, obviously, we've just installed Yoast, um, so it doesn't necessarily build an XML sitemap instantaneously, which is part of the reason why I'm getting this to do the night before um, the class, um, because we're going to be uploading it in Search Console tomorrow, um, and we want the, the XML sitemap to exist. But fingers crossed, if you click on see the XML sitemap, you should get something to load that looks like this. Um, and yours may not have as many uh, kind of entries as this. That's absolutely fine. Um, yours will probably just have one or two. Um, just, we don't really need to worry about what the sitemap looks like. Yoast automatically um, kind of updates and creates the sitemap as your site kind of grows and evolves. We just want to make sure that um, on this URL that is your website slash sitemaps underscore index dot XML, there is an actual sitemap there. Um, and now that we see there is, that's all we need to do. So job done, happy days, um, see you tomorrow.